everybody, I'm Dottie Boston bringing you some Monday motivation and I know that it has been a while since my last vlog. It's actually been so long that I'm another year older. If you like my shirt, I got it from Little Utopia Boutique. That's a adorable online shop that you can find at Etsy.com and I'm going to include a link here for you to browse the store. This was actually a custom design that I asked the shop to make. For those of you who are wondering, I am 37 years old and there is no shame in my game because there are many who have not been blessed to see so many years of life. Their lives have been cut short for whatever reason. So I'm just thankful for every single year. You're never going to hear me being like, oh, I'm 29 again, girl, or I'm 28. No, that's just not me. <laughs> now that I'm an adult, I've become a lot more reflective every time I have a birthday. So it's like my birthday is my own personal new year. I, um, I think about my goals. Okay, I think about my goals, I think about where I am in reaching those goals, and I am reflective about the relationships that I have in my life. I don't know about you, but I am a giver. I mean, I don't think twice about helping people. If I have to rearrange my own schedule to help somebody out, I'll do that without some. and you know what, they never even know any different. It's just like, okay, you know, daddy got it, daddy taking care of it. As a giver, I don't know about you, but have you ever had that experience where you are always there and you do things for people and then in turn, when that individual has the chance to help you out, they don't have time or they don't want to be bothered, it's an inconvenience. Um, or maybe you've been there for people constantly and when you can't be there for something, oh well now they mad at you. It's like they have complete amnesia about anything that you've done for them. It's like you've never done anything at all. Now this can be very hurtful and confusing and it makes you stop and wonder, you know, what is the taker adding to my life? You see, I believe that all relationships, be it a romantic relationship, a friendship, relationships with co-workers, um, family relationships, all relationships should be a two-way street. You should never find yourself feeling like they can't be there for you the way that you're there for them. It's just not right, it's not fair. And I believe it's just unhealthy as a giver. So this year, one of my very best friends came all the way from Louisiana to celebrate this birthday with me. And it's not even like 37 is some kind of milestone or something. <laughs> but I invited her out and out she came and she made me promise that we would get up and go exercise on the morning of my birthday. Now, she's been exercising regularly like daily over the last year me not so much <laughs> so uh when i couldn't run i walked okay now first and foremost as i was walking i was looking at my girl go she was just running um and i was so proud of her i refused to let her lap me <laughs> i i jogged enough to make sure she ain't lap me but um yeah, she's been on a weight loss journey and I'm just extremely proud of her. So that was my first thought. Secondly, as I was walking, I realized that I need to practice walking physically and spiritually. Today, I want to encourage you to walk. Walking is the best exercise and it's time to walk away. Walk away from arguments that lead to nowhere but anger walk away from people who deliberately put you down and walk away from any thought that makes you reduce and diminish your own self-worth. 
It's time to walk away from fears and failures that are stifling you from realizing your dreams. Walk away from anything that is poisoning your soul. You see, the more that you walk away from those things, the happier you're going to be. And the closer you'll be to walking into the peace and the joy and the purpose that God has for your life. You know, maybe like me, you know, before you take a step back from people, you feel the need to justify and I have to explain to you and make you understand why I'm doing what I'm doing. No, don't waste that time or energy. You see, you're a giver, right? You're a giver and a taker is not going to understand your mindset. You guys don't speak the same language. Save your energy. Just walk. I am so excited about the amazing things that God has in store for us this upcoming year. I just feel it in the atmosphere that this change is coming, not just for me, for you too. Just reach it up and claim it. Even if you feel low right now, you reach up and claim it that that change is shifting in the atmosphere and your blessing is coming. And in order for you to get that blessing to come to fruition, you don't have any more time or energy to put into takers. Now, the first thing that takers are going to say is, oh, oh, well, you changed. And you know what you tell them? You say, you show sure right. I've been walking. <laughs> May the Lord bless and keep you. And remember that nothing is going to happen this week that both you and he can't handle. Be blessed, y'all. It is my birthday. And my best friend I took off and left me running. I ran. I ran a whole lap around this track. She going to run a second lap around. I ain't in that condition right now. Uh, she was walking. I just have to run it again. Oh, no. And she going to have to just catch me on the back end. We are finished. Look at this foolishness. We together again. Look at this. Girl, she worked hard. I can't see. See how hard?